Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I'm doing a free-to-play FPS week here on Big Dave is Cheap. Yes, indeed, this is the first game in that three set of games. This is Combat Arms. Unfortunately, Combat Arms won't let you go past this point without creating a character, so excuse the black bars and excuse the lack of title splash screen here. So let's go ahead and get into this game and we'll talk a little bit more as we go. Let's get this resolution fixed. Let's get a character created. Kind of hunting and pecking here, so excuse me if it looks like uh, I'm a bad typist. Oh! Alright. I don't imagine that Big Dave will be available. Well, let's see. No. There we go. And this gruff looking gentleman. Now, nice to see there are ladies here. And they're not inexplicably wearing bikini tops. That is fantastic. I like to see that. So we'll go with this gruff looking gentleman here. And here we go. Nice little comic style there. Would you like to go through training mode? No. Uh, well, thank you, but I do still wish to skip it. Okay, daily job. So it looks like we got some daily quests here. That's cool. Reach 30 minutes of in-game playtime, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. Huh. Encouraging you to play the game a little bit more, huh? So here on the free-to-play week on Big Dave is Cheap, we are going to judge these games based on a few things. Number one, the outside of the game experience. The interface, the lobby system, the characters, all that stuff. Then we're going to look at the shop next. We're going to look at the variety of guns, the augments. What do you got? What's available? We're also going to buy something with the starting currency that they give you for opening opening a new account. I've opened a brand new account for this. So we're going to buy something with the starting currency, whatever it might be. And then we're going to play the game. Pretty simple, huh? So let's see. I am in the east, so we might as well join the east coast. Oh wait, first let's take care of that resolution. A gear is usually the options. And indeed, in this case, it is as well. Okay, so it's already 19, 20, 20. Huh. Okay, so I can only assume that that means that this menu system is not available in widescreen format. That's a little bit odd. But anyhow, moving along. Whoa, East Coast. Let's see, region select, East Coast. Okay. Uh, moderate, low, low, okay, yeah, well, Papa it is. Now I am playing at about 2 a.m. Eastern Time. So that could explain the low server, uh, low server pops, uh, because I know that Combat Arms is a fairly popular game. Now, let's see what the West Coast server looks like this time of night. Oh, there we go. Okay, so a lot busier out on the West Coast, but uh, for fear of ping issues, I'm going to stick with the East, and we'll just go with Papa. Wow, still pushing that training mode, huh? Uh, no. And in fact, no. Channel 1 is full. Go to Channel 2. Okay, so here we go. We are right into the game screen, the server screen. Uh, I see a flashing inbox down here. Let's see what we got. A little bit of a welcome package. That's very nice. Let's see what's in it. Would you like to activate recruit package? Yes, I would. Why, yes, I would. And how does one access such things? Hmm. Let's, oh, here we go. Inventory. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this is the stuff I got from the recruit package. Okay, got a scar, got a sniper rifle. Handgun, a heavy vest, and some sweet shades. Those are going on. There you go, look at that. Ice cold. Okay, and, uh, yeah, okay, you get the, uh, M16 as the default weapon. That's not bad. Oh, special. I see purple. Epic. Epic. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the menu system is pretty basic. It is nice that you get a uh, slightly bumped up gun to start with. Um, what do we got this for? 15th? What's today? The 8th? I don't know. What do we got it for? Five or six days. That's good. I can definitely join me for epic spy hunt. Um, okay. Uh, 
So we can definitely do some damage with that. Um, yeah, let's take a look here. So, I mean, the menu system is fine. The lobby system looks good. You've got your users online. That's nice to see. Uh, and all chat, your stats down here. Little quick join button. Plenty of servers. Uh, looks like there's plenty of people playing. Excellent. Always going to be easy to find a game. Fantastic. I know the three games that I picked, they all have good populations. So I didn't pick anything that has extremely iffy populations. So all of these should be fine on population. That's not really even going to be a consideration. Uh, so yeah, I think the basic interface system looks good. We've got modifications here. That's good. Okay, so we can do a little modding to our gun. That's cool. So let's take a look at the shop. Moving right along. So in the shop, what do we got? We got GP and we've got... Is that a... I don't even know what that symbol is. Okay. All right, new. Oh, we're on hot weapon. Let's see. Let's see if we can find. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a nice common gun. We already have that. Oh, some of these have rank requirements. Okay. Mm. M14. So I'm a trainee. So I may be limited in what I can purchase. So let's see. The GP seems to be the in-game currency, and NX seems to be the paid currency. So is there anything that I can get as a recruit for GP? Respawn token. Hmm. Ooh, there's a black market. Oh. Well, let's see here. Okay, that's on sale. Oh. So I get 2,000 GP to start, which seems to be enough to buy a few different weapons. Locked. Oh, I'm a trainee. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there's only... Wow, yeah, it looks like there's only one thing that I can buy right now. Here we go. I can buy another variation of the sniper rifle. And, ooh, I can buy a nice machine gun. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like there are a few things I can buy. Yeah, there are a few things. I mean, it's not it's not a great selection, and uh, I should rank out of this trainee pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy something. Let's buy that machine gun. That thing looks badass. All right, here we go. So, for one day, it's 950. So I can afford it for one day. Let's get it for one day. Hell yeah, let's equip it. Backpack. Hmm. Okay, we'll put it in the backpack. Okay, well, there we go. That's the shop. Uh, yeah. So we've purchased one weapon with our starting currency. And let's get into a game, why don't we? Um, yeah, let's just hit the quick join button over here. Glaring at me. Yeah, let's give it a go. And here we go. We are into some actual gameplay footage here. Oh, I went. I just, I just went through a fancy grenade. Woo, what was that? Some kind of fancy smoke. Oh, dude, okay. Uh, yo, oh, he's got a buddy. Damn it. Okay. Well camouflaged. Hmm. Brad1277. You're a sneaky one. Okay, here we go. So, we're, again, we're taking a look at the, the game. We're just taking everything in here. Uh, you know, the controls feel fine. Uh, the game is definitely older, and it shows that age. Uh, we're going to cut around a little bit as we play, but uh, that's just for the sake of not showing every single death that... Uh, <laughs> that I died every five seconds in this game because I, I had a really bad ratio. Uh, we will see some deaths like that one right there. So the game itself, it plays good, it feels good. There are a lot of people playing. Um, you know, the, the guns seem responsive. Uh, you can't iron sight. I do hate that, absolutely hate that, but I think that's pretty much typical of all the games that we're playing. A little grenade action here, hopefully. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
snatch a kill, and then get taken out. And that's about how I go when I play. I mean, I, I, I do a little something good, I do a little something bad. I'll leave my teammate hanging out to dry there. Some sort of a thing on the ground, I don't know what it is. A kill. I've obtained a high-sec case. Alright, I'll take it. Don't know what it does, but I got it. All right, let's, let's let's pull it down here. Let's let's go a little sneaky, 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 sneaky here. Yeah, clear that way. Okay, let's go over here and let's see what we can see. Oh crap! Okay, not sneaky enough, I guess. So let's move on to another map. This is the oil rig. This map seems really popular. Um, one thing I was testing out here: you can, in fact, pick up drop weapons. Awesome. That is, uh, in my opinion, a necessity in these games. I mean, it is one of the absolute necessary features because um, it's laying it's laying right there laying right there no reason I can't pick it up snatch a kill right there and mm, can't get another somebody did get one though oh that that nice lady there hanging out ninja milf okay let's cross this little okay, where's that coming from uh oh that guy's flying look at that uh, yeah, so even though the game launches an anti-hacking tool when it starts up, uh, clearly, still some hackers, uh, as evidenced by this guy shooting right down through the ceiling and taking out three of us. So, uh, since there was a little hacking going on, I left that game and I thought, well, let's see what the options are when creating a game. Um, so you got to name your room, you know, I'm like, well, I'll, I'll be witty, I'll name it Big Dave is cheap. Or no. Big Dave sucks at this game, but it's not long enough. So we just leave it at Big Dave sucks. Here's your game modes. Eh, you know, not really sure what some of them are. Some of them look interesting. Quarantine regen, that looks cool. Hired guns, that looks kind of cool. I know that's sort of like a, a a bank robbery or something. I don't know. Um, when I looked into it, you'll see here that the only level has a big vault door. So uh, for some reason, there's only four digits for the password. It doesn't like my name, so screw that. Fix the name, and uh, we'll take a look here. We're in hired guns mode. Checking out the round options, the versus options, and you have just one map. The bank has been cleared. The vault is sit a sitting duck. All that stands between you and your weight in gold is a hail of gunfire. Nice. So I figured since I bought this machine gun, I had to show you at least a few seconds of gameplay with it. Uh, I didn't do real well with it. It is just a sort of a random spray gun, but I did sneak up on that guy right there. And after that, I decided to try the quarantine regen mode, which seems like uh, one of the unique modes. I mean, everything has a sort of a zombie-ish mode, but um, I like the way they do it. Two people start out as the infected, and uh, the rest of the team has to survive. So I noticed these folks were camping out in this building. I thought, well, that's a good place to be. They have the door well defended. So, all right, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to hang out with these folks. So I'm looking around. You know, I haven't seen these zombies or whatever they are yet. So I take a look out the window. Some giant explosion over there. And then I see this thing with red eyes. Oh, my Lord. At first, I'm a little scared to shoot at it. Then I figure, oh, that guy's about to get butt rape, so let me help out, and oh, it comes at me, Woo! okay, I don't know what to do, pull out a grenade, no, oh, and there I am, uh, <laughs> I am now zombified, so fast forward to a game where I turned into a zombie, um, just give you an idea of what the zombie mode is like, yeah, so pretty much you walk around, you slash at things, you try to kill stuff, so this uh, poor lady here just gets blasted, so guys, let's talk about combat arms. I mean, all in all, the game is pretty good. I like it. Um, we are going to do a review at the end of the week, so there's not really going to be a real clear conclusion on this. So stick around for the roundup at the end of the week. And uh, until then, guys, hey, take it easy.